Hey everyone, this is Scott from CertMedia.com. In this video, we're going to be briefly covering the WP Performance Score Booster. This is another plugin that basically is meant and designed to primarily boost your GT Matrix scores by just doing a couple of simple additions that are covered by most optimization plugins like Cache Enabler, like Auto Optimize, and WordPress Rocket, so on and so forth. WP Performance Score Booster is primarily meant to be a marketing driven thing to have you order their optimization services. So you go ahead and you install the plugin and you go to settings and it does a few things basically out of the box and the rest of the menu is all promotion. What do I mean by that? It will only do the following, removing query strings from static resources. This, con this suggestion is actually no longer recommended for GT Matrix and it's no longer used for Pingdom as well. So this doesn't really do much for you. Enabling GZIP compression is a good suggestion that is recommended by all tools. This does do it by adding some rules to your HD access file. However, in like the next warning to leverage browser caching, these are both added by most caching plugins. Cache enabler, WP super cache, W3 total cache. Of the free ones, they do it right out of the box. So does WP fastest cache. Of the paid ones, they all do them. Uh, WP rocket. Swift Performance, uh, W3 Total Cache Pro, obviously, they all do this. So this plugin is honestly not worth it. Um, if you're using this plugin and for some reason you're using it, but you have something like caching solution already set up, whether it's W3, whether it's WP Super Cache or any other caching plugin, I recommend uninstalling this solely because this is all the functionality in this plugin. Yes, it does what its job says. It will improve your performance scores. But everything that this plugin does, you could do by copying and pasting some rules into your HD access file. Or if you have a plugin that already adds these headers, it will do it for you. So this plugin really should be uninstalled for most installations. If you have a caching plugin already, go ahead and uninstall it. Um, the, the only thing that you're really getting here is removing query strings from static resources, which if you're not sure what that means, what it means is that when you go to your front end, you view your page source, and if you look for like your CSS file, as you can see right here, these are naked URLs. There are no query strings attached to them. If you disable this functionality, it will add back the versioning numbers. This can be added with 10 lines of code. Uh, it's really that simple. I could provide it to you. I'll, I'll actually include in the link to this video a description to a plugin where this code is added for you. Um, there will be no settings menu for it. It won't do anything other than that. So you can just install it and it'll do exactly that. It'll even cover Google fonts, which this doesn't appear to do. So if you have any questions um, about this plugin, please feel free to ask, but in all honesty, you should just uninstall it if you have a decent caching solution. It's not worth it and it's only a half fix if your website's already slow. If your website's already slow and you use this plugin, you're watching this video wondering if you should use it or you're already using it and you're still slow, it's because you don't have a proper optimization setup and your theme or in your plugins are probably bloated. So you need to add a page caching plugin, whether that's a free one or a premium one. I've covered a bunch on this channel, so make sure you go to the video section and you can search around. Uh, I actually have a caching plugin playlist that you could look at some of the ones on there. There are free ones and paid ones on there. And just pick one of those. And this, this plugin honestly will lose all its purpose once you install those. Um, but if you have any questions, ask in the comments below. Otherwise, make sure to like, subscribe, and I will gladly see you in the next one.